Schematic flux measures the amount of magnetic field that goes through an area. It has to go perpendicular to the area, only the perpendicular component counts. So on the left hand side, all of it is going through the area at right angles, so it's just B times A, the magnetic flux density times area. But on the right hand side, only a tiny component is actually going through the area at right angles. So this is the component that we're interested in, the one that's parallel to the normal. So the equation will be BA cosine theta, which is the component that's perpendicular to the area. Uh, magnetic flux linkage is if there's, instead of having just one loop, you have a number of loops um, on top of each other. So it's like a coil. So if you have n loops, then you simply multiply the magnetic flux by n to get the magnetic flux linkage. Here you've got a single coil with a magnetic field going through it. Here, in this particular situation, you're going to get a maximum flux, which is B times A. But as it spins, the magnetic flux going through the coil is going to reduce, and in this case, it's going to be zero. So if we plot uh, flux against time as this, as this coil spins at a constant angular velocity of omega, we get this. So you can see a, a flux linkage against time. It starts off really high, goes to zero, and there's a negative when the flux is basically the other way around, um, the coil is the other way around, and then it goes back to zero and it just keeps repeating. Um, and the equation for this is uh, flux linkage equals BAN cosine omega t. That's because theta is equal to the angular velocity times time.